Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy. When we left off last time, we were finally able to swipe the notebook out of uh, Kelly and Joanne's room. So that's fantastic, and that gave us a name, Alexander Davenport. But we can't really find anything online about him, and Allie the Ghost didn't give us a whole lot about him either. It's not a name we can use to see Susan Lee at the hospital. So still not sure what to do, but I did off-screen took a look at some of my photographs. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. And Joey and shows up. Joey too, I guess. So that's kind of cool. And then in addition, where's our other photos? Yeah, all of our photos here. Suddenly there he is. Yet another photograph. He doesn't look happy. Auntie looks kind of happy though. I know Auntie, Auntie is what she says, but I always grew up saying aunt, so aunt just feels strange to me. Even though aunt does make more sense with the spelling. Here he is at Christmas. Looking all disgruntled. Oh, that's Joanne's photograph. So, Psst, Joey. I don't know what, what to want, do yet. Sweetheart. But I was just trying to. Okay, let's talk to Joey. And when I do, I can ask him about these photographs now. So let's see if there's anything interesting. Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. That's all you got to say about it? All right. What about Christmas? Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad? And Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. That's it, eh? What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk about her? <laughs> What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. Well, just tell me. Okay, fine. What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? I just do. Can't you tell me anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. Oh, come on, Jelly. Humor me. I'm not sure what to do. What else do we have? More about ghosts? What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue we have. Well, we know who everyone in the photo is. Remind me, how do we convince ghosts that they're dead? Like I said, we need to find something that has personal significance to them. Like an object, a piece of information, or even another person. Okay. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one. Alright, he told us all this. You don't come in. No, that's your job. <sighs> what else have we got? Well, I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Okay, this isn't guilt doing anything for us. No, those curtains stay shut. You coming? Yeah, sure. Always. All right, um, seems like a long shot, but... Asante? Asante? I don't know why I can't remember her name. I always want to put a V Come there, in. but it's not. Asante Sharma. How goes it? Welcome back, Rosa. Come in. <laughs> For goodness sake, will you leave the dog alone? Poor Moti. I suppose if you're a ghost, that's the only amusement you have, but... Alright, so, cool. We can go in this room, but there's nothing to click on, and then... Kind of like Nasanti's music. Your boy. <laughs> Just sitting in the midst of a ghost. It's fine. There's nothing to be afraid of. I hope. All right. See ya. You know I spoil you. Go get it. Nasanti, do you have any tips on how, tips on uh, you know how you'd go about tracking down? boyfriend of a woman in the mental hospital whose friends were killed under mysterious circumstances. Well, take care. No, Come back. she does not. All right, I don't think we're gaining anything here. But talking to Ellie didn't really give us anything either. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. Hey, Ellie. 
Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Come on, tell us something other than Alexander the Great. Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great. Was it an accident, or was it just fate? <sighs> Ellie Montego talks in rhyme. She's not very helpful much of the time. Actually, I do kind of like the the talking in rhyme and the way she seems so confused. Like, she's she's stuck. She needs to move on, but she can't. She She's lost. I kind of like that. I mean, it makes it frustrating to figure out how to help her, but obviously if she were clear and concise, then she wouldn't be caught in limbo or whatever this is. <sighs> I think we've... Did you summon some? Did I? That's why I'm at. I hate yeah. Why? Because we asked the all this. deacon kid. The de I I okay. Damn. Don't worry. We went through this. Um. Look, just we'll figure. Am I missing something at the hospital? Is there something with Joey's powers we could do? Mess with the fuse box? Let's try it. You need a key to open it. I don't have anyone to call. Do a pretend call to Joey. Joe Shh. You want to keep your... <sighs> Do something helpful. Apparently that's Joey. I know, I, I want him to help me out. I don't have anyone. Looks like an internal phone. Joey? Yeah, come over yes, here. Darling. That's all for now. Right, right. No, it's not. Psst, Joey! What do you want, sweetheart? That's all for now. Right. Mm. Some kind of motor. No, I want you to find a way to steal this key or something. There's got to be something to do with them. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. I don't think I need any of these keys. We do. We need to mess with the fuse box. And then when the power's out and the card's confused, we'll just run past him. That's possibly not a very good plan, but that's what I got. <sighs> this Thanks. Uh -huh. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't think there's anything to gain from this. According to Kelly, this girl's name is Susan. All right, let's look at the message again. Not overly useful. I do wonder who this is that Joanne was with. I think that's probably important. Hmm. Whoa! Hold on. Hmm. You want to go in? I gotta clear you first. Yeah, yeah. Well, Joey, how are we gonna get in here? Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty strange. I'd better take a closer look. We already did. There's nothing else to be gained from this, huh? Okay. How are we gonna get in to see Susan? Whoever Alexander Davenport is, he's either a boyfriend. Okay. I don't see what one has. Me either, really, but I'm desperate. Did Alexander Davenport have killed Allie? No, it's probably more something to that do with makes the deacon. No sense. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, this'll do. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. I oh, have a plan well, now, though. That's because I was. I should oh, give it really? a look. Well, yes. Let's... What was your name again? Oh my goodness, Alex. My name is Alex Davenport. Huh? Yes. Your yes. Name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Wonderful. Thanks. All right, let's go talk to Susan. Oh, I'm so excited.
Hey there, Suzy Q. Um, no. I'm sorry. I lied. Where's Alexander? Uh, don't know. He's not here. They told me... They told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me, anyway. How come? Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No. No, I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, let's try to relate to her. So do you like Bellevue? It's okay. It's kind of a weird I question. I used to come here every week. To visit my aunt, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think she cares. She doesn't. Well, She's like, anyway, who are you? <laughs> I'm just saying, I've spent a lot of time here. You don't have to be scared of me. Okay. We could jump right into it. Well, let's start with Joanne. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? Kind sort of. of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? She's Joanne. What does that mean? All. Okay, this is potentially an extremely upsetting topic. Let's go to Allie. Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know why she did it? No. Hmm. What about you? Susan, can you tell me why you're here? What happened? Nothing. Just... nothing. It's okay. You can tell me the truth. I talked to ghosts. I'm not gonna judge ya. Uh, okay, we'll try this. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Susan? She just did. No. Okay, she's not. Do you know Joanne? Probably gonna care about Kelly, Kelly, but. Yeah, sorta. Why? Oh, no reason. Yeah, it's not really important. Um. Oh, and Adrian is off my list entirely now. Let's see. Oh, Can well, you tell me Dad. anything Alex? about Alex? He. I don't know. He's nobody. Just some guy. That. No, no, no. He's definitely not just some guy. He's important to you, and you thought that he was coming to see you. That's suspicious, but let's talk about Deacon and the Ouija Susan, board. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the Deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? I do. Whatever happened, I believe Cause you. Because my life is awfully strange, too. He still comes to me. Oh. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. What's he screaming about? I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? Yeah. I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? Yes. I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... Oh, don't give up. I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. I mean, I guess already she obviously kind of gave up because she tried to kill herself, but it's just... really sad. She's stuck with a problem that she can't turn to anyone else to for help because no one's going to believe her. Well, we're here for you, Susan. We're, we're going to find a way. Okay, let's ask about Joanne Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. So did Joanne genuinely kill herself then? Because she's feeling guilty? Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes. The deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. Just keeps going. I just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. Okay. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. Same situation. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Even her life. Alright. Uh, what happened to Allie? Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. That's why she's at the dog she park? She loved dogs. 
She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. Aww. And now she can't. She... She was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? I don't know. Uh, tell me some more about this deacon. We've already established this. I don't need to bring it up again. Ah, uh, alright. Okay, I do want to know about her, but what about Alex Davenport? Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. Hmm. Alright, what about you? So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi, and I just... Well, you know. Aww. Head. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself right. Not a stupid cop, really. I got I mean, I sympathize with her. She's got this unending screaming inside her head. That would be extremely difficult for anyone to deal with. But throwing yourself in front of the taxi is kind of... Okay, she's not in a rational frame of mind, so I can't really hold it against her. But I do kind of feel like, you know, that's one of the more awful ways to go because that's involving other people. How would that taxi driver have felt if he hadn't stopped in time? And then he's just stuck the rest of his life knowing that he killed someone and it would be, be like it was she threw herself in front of the vehicle um i don't know if that case if they even press manslaughter charges or anything like that but i imagine that still like if, if someone threw their self in front of my car even if it's a last minute thing and i didn't stop in time i think that would still be a really difficult thing for me to get over and to not feel at least somewhat responsible for because it, it was my car so yeah Ooh, just awful all around um what do we want to ask her about now? We've got pretty well, she's not going to care about Kelly. Was Kelly involved in any of this? No, she's Kelly. just Kelly. Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. She didn't like us much. But that's okay. We didn't like her either. <laughs> it goes both ways. That's fair. Okay, uh... Can you tell it. me again what happened? Same thing that happened. I tried to kill and now I'm here. Okay. Can you tell me anything else about Allie? No. Only that, wherever she is, I hope there are dogs around. Hmm. Anything else about Can Joanne? Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Not really. I miss her, though. Her door was always open. She had such a creative mind. She wrote poems about us. Silly, stupid things. Oh, is that what Ellie keeps talking about? Can you tell me again why Joanne killed herself? For quiet. The deacon's voice inside her head. In the end, we'd give anything to silence it. Even our lives. Can you tell me anything about Alex? Nothing important. We had a thing. Okay. So I think we've, we've got pretty much everything out of I have of her. to go now, Susan. But I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Well, what do we have to go on from that? Let's see. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? Oh, I'm come just on. Saying. You don't gotta be so sarcastic all the time. Storm coming, huh? Is this foreshadowing? Looks like you mess with the reception, Joey. Alright. Can we talk? Joey! Yeah? Yeah, let's ask him about that. What happened with that radio? What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. It just happens. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during Days of Our Lives. <laughs> I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, and frankly, who the heck could we ask? Good That's point. That's all for now. Right, right. But it may end up being useful. Well, do we have anything to go on here? 
Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend. It's the same thing we had before. Actually, let's step out. It's getting dark. Maybe we'll have some new options outside. Oh! We're done with our gal Kelly forever now, eh? And Adrian, too. Oh. Let's go talk to Allie in the dark. Ooh, this is ominous music. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. Maybe we could say something to her about dogs? That was something she hey really there. liked. Remember me? No. Maybe. Maybe we need to bring Moti here. To help her move on. Maybe that would do it. A dog, because she loved dogs. Can you tell me anything about yourself, Allie? Allie Montego. She kisses a... There's your son. Can you tell me anything um, else about Susan? Little Lady Lee. Won't say much. Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? No, on a date with Alexander the Great. Oh, that's right. She Wasn't does know him now. But it's just the poem. Um... Did you summon... Did I? That's... Ugh, uh, nothing new the here. Did I... I... Don't okay. Work. Now this is interesting, though, that Kelly's still Can you here. tell me anything else about Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. So we can't go talk to Kelly anymore, but she's probably going to be relevant in some way in combination with something else along the lines of how Adrian was. Do you know- Joanne? She's gone- she's- even though she- they all had because- Tell me again- Beware. Okay. Look, Nothing just, new here. We'll figure this- well, let's go home and talk. Mo, well, what do you think? Joey! Yes, darling? Mmm. Well, now that we've met her, what do you think about Susan? I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Nope. Okay, no, this isn't I it. think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. I'm on the wrong track. Let's try combining things. All I know about Joanne is... Joanne and Kelly were roommates... I'm just combining everything. There is obviously a connection... What are we gonna- how are we gonna find out more about Deacon? That's gonna be important. Nothing between Joanne and Alex Davenport. Susan was one of. Allie was one of Joanne, and just like Joanne, Allie is dead. All right. Could Kelly have had something? I don't think so. There is obviously a connection between the Deacon and these girls, but what? Well, he's inside their head somehow. I wonder if this Alexander. I only hope that Susan doesn't meet this. I meant to hit suicide and Allie. Allie is dead. Just is there more to this than a simple? What do I need to combine? Maybe there's a connection. No, there's probably not. There's probably maybe there's a. Kelly's got to connect with something. I get the impression that. But I don't think it's anything that's on my list right now. I get now. the impression. No. The Deacon and Alex. Hmm. No. There is obviously a connection between. Alright, I'm not gaining anything here. I want to track down Alex, because it's odd to me that Susan clearly was excited about him before. He was the boyfriend, but now there's nothing that they want to do with each other, or he doesn't want to have anything to do with her. Is it just because he's concerned about the stigma of her trying to kill herself, or is he somehow involved? Is there more to it? I'm not ready for bed. Uh, what would we look up, though? Hmm. And now it doesn't say anything. I all Susan. I already. That's too too Whoever common. Yeah, none of this is gonna do it. Um. You coming? Yeah, sure. Let's talk to Nasanti again. Maybe if we could like take Moti for a walk and take him to the dog park. Come in! Where is she? Hello again, Rosa. Come in! Is she in the kitchen? <laughs> Don't 
Don't you worry about it, Multi. Okay, she must be in the kitchen. Ah, washing some dishes, eh? Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Okay, and we can't look at any of her stuff. Well, let's give him a treat anyway. Come here, boy. There you go. Go get it. See ya. All right. I don't think we want to be home at this point. Am I missing something at the hospital? Whoa! Hold on there. What? You already know who I am. You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. We talked about this. I'm Alice Davenport. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Alright, thank you. Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low. And that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. <laughs> now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? <laughs> I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. <laughs> well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What, you want me to take them out of here? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please. Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. It's not that it's a weird thing for her to not want to take her pills. Having to pee all the time wouldn't be that bad as long as it keeps the crazy screaming down in your head. I think I'd rather pee a bunch than retain a lot of water, but whatever. Her choice. I don't know. I Myself, I would follow the doctor's advice and say you really should take your diuretics, but if she's not going to take them, then whatever. We'll take them off our hand. It gives us an item in our inventory that we will probably be able to do something useful with. So... No, it's not what I really want to do yet. I have to go now, Susan. Oh, I, but I'll come back to check on... Mm -hmm. No, I was going to... Dang it. Do I want to talk to her more? What else am I going to do with all these pills I got? Oh, there they are. I don't want to give them to Nasanti, of course. And I don't think I can give them to Allie. I mean, she's a ghost. I don't want to take them myself. So at this point, I don't know who we would give them to. Alright, let me talk to her again. I'd like to see... Go right... All right. Anything else you can tell me, Susan? Hi, Susan. So how are you feeling? Fine. That's all. Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. All right. We've already established. Can you tell me anything? Nothing important. We had a nothing new on our news. Can you tell me the same thing that I tried to canal him? Can you tell me? No. Can you tell me a for quiet the deacon's voice inside? What else can okay. you do? Really? This is none of this is new. I have to so. go, but I'll come back. Mm -hmm. We've got the pills though, so there's got to be something I can do with the pills. Do we give him to the dog so that he has to pee, so we can take him to the dog park and then try and talk to Allie with him? Is there something important I need to be doing here that I'm missing? I don't think we want to. He doesn't even have, like, a coffee or anything that I could put it in. Come in. Come in. 
Okay. We're going to try Modi because that's the only thing I can think of. Come in! Look, you've got him all excited. Come in! Although I do feel kind of bad. Just giving diuretics to a dog. <laughs> How did I? These pills, according to Susan, are a mild diuretic. Is there something I'm going to have to trigger to get her to want to do anything with them? Okay, maybe this isn't the way. Let's go home. For a moment. So, I'm not ready for bed. No. These pills, according. Mm. You coming? Yeah, sure. I don't think I'd want to take the pills to the park. Alright, let's just make sure there's nothing over here still. Nope, okay. Into the dog walk. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah. Hey there. No. Mm, no, I don't think there's anything we can do with the pills here. Do you on it wasn't Can you little late once nothing new. Okay. Look, just We'll figure this out. All right, well. Let me go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. I need to think on it a bit. Right now I'm just clicking anything I can think to click on in the hopes that something will end up being useful, but maybe if I can just sit a minute, ponder things over, then I can come up with whatever I need to do next.